like Robert said, I mean, these integrations, they can they can be done in, in a variety of different ways, um, many different functions, uh, specific types of interfaces, whether it's asset synchronization, work order synchronization, uh, result synchron, you know, uh, sending results back to whatever that parent or master system is. Um, so each customer may desire a unique workflow or unique field level mappings. So one of the things we found that uh, really leads us to successful integration projects and successful deployments of these interfaces um, is beginning with just a, you know, a quick, um, you know, several hours or maybe a day uh, discovery session, an exploratory session where we get together with our customers, you know, business owners, a technical resources, and we really get down and talk about what the desired workflow is, what the desired interface functions are, the different directions of communication back and forth. And then we get really down into even the field level mapping to decide what pieces of data we want to send back and forth. Um, you know, spending that time really allows us to develop a clear picture of, of what that intended integration will look like. And then as we move forward into the implementation, as you see on the slide there, it really just allows for a much more efficient and successful project overall. Um, so we've done these sessions remotely or we've gone to customer facilities and, and done them in person. Um, and, and like I said, we've really just found that they're extremely valuable uh, to get these integration projects started on the right foot. Can we integrate ProCal with more than one system? The answer is yes, we can We can put in, um, you know, as I said before, we can integrate with multiple instances of the same system, or we can have multiple uh, integrations to different systems. So if you have an ERP system like SAP, or if you have a LIM system like Robert was talking about, we are able to have multiple interfaces uh, against the single ProCal database. Uh, another great question here from an anonymous attendee is, are we able to validate uh, these integrations, you know, for FDA compliance sites? And the answer is yes, we've done these integrations for, um, you know, many of our pharmaceutical companies, uh, customers. I remember one project, which was actually one of the first, um, first one of these integrations I did, I think back in 2015 uh, with one of our major pharmaceutical customers. Um, we implemented uh, ProCal at a, at a new site for that customer. And not only did we validate the ProCal implementation, we also validated the the uh, workflow with the SAP interface, and that was part of their full GAMP5 validation, um, and it's a fully FDA compliant site. 